Mar Walker would snatch the lead heading into the turn for home. But a mini stretch duel ensued and in a rail run, interesting times ahead, under a patient ride from Philip Parchment, got away from the rest of the field. The lane and run Julie run now scoots through and grabs the lead. Interesting times ahead down against the rail. It's run Julie run tackled now by interesting times ahead and interesting times ahead kicks and gets that lead. Run Julie run left a length and a half back. It's interesting times ahead inside the final 16th who holds the advantage under the bustling Philip Parchment. They win the Jamaica two-year-old stakes by maybe three lengths over run Julie run. Conditioned by two-time champion trainer Jason DaCosta, interesting times ahead with splits of 24 flat, 46 and a 3, 113 and 1, 1 in 1 minute 39 and 2 by three lengths. Um, he got a, got a run on uh, Mote Mali against foreigners and run, run a good third. He came back and won um, nine days ago. Very, very easy. So um, it always looked promising coming into this race that, you know, um, he would have a good chance. Nobody really knows, but he um, wasn't really welcome in that race. He had a, a diarrhea about two to three days prior to the race. And the chance said, OK, um, we're going to get him back together and put him in that race. And he wasn't comfortable. Uh, so coming in this race, I know it's going to be a better horse. Meanwhile, press conference, who was winning his first race since April, landed the Boxing Day Sprint, an overnight allowance contest for three-year-old and up going six furlongs. Owned and trained by Carl Anderson, press conference written by Shavan Townsend, won in one minute 19 flat. You know, he's been unfortunate. A couple of races he ran. The last race, he got a lot of stops, and that was evident. The race with um, Empire of the Cats. You now he finished fourth, and he was right there. His instructions were to come off the pace, he went up front, he's at a sprinter. But this time now we changed the jockey and asked him to just patiently now put him in front and let him do his thing. I plan out how I'm going to ride this race. So when I get on the horse I feel him, I feel him like the power, the power is more than Empire of the Cat. And I said alright, I'm going to try to get him early enough and just regulate the pace and two furlong and move him. And that's what I did. Jockey O'Neill Mullins rode a double. The curtains come down on the 2023 season on Saturday. On this, the penultimate day of racing here at Caymanis Park, I am Denise Walters reporting for TVJ Sports. Thank you, Denise.